hi everyone. Uh, I'm sorry for my appearance. Um, I really haven't got really a lot of makeup on. I wanted to do this video, but I couldn't be bothered to put my makeup on. Um, I've got eyeliner, mascara, um, a little wash of um, creme B, was it brulee, brulee, creme brulee from Wet n Wild. It's just a, a shade, natural shade. Um, and I have obviously some lipstick and some blusher on. So I hope um, I'm not offending you too much. Right, this video is going to be, um, I'm going to broken this down into probably two or if I look at the next stage of it there might be three. I want you to show you my favourite um, pigments and single eyeshadows for this time of year around the Christmas period time. I do wear some of these, well a lot of these actually, through the year. Obviously start of winter. Um, but most of them, you know, a lot of them are really sort of glittery. And, like and at my age I still wear glitter. I mean, I don't go at it mad like I used to when I was younger, but um, with a light hand you can still wear it. Well I think you can anyway. Right, so I'll start with the single shadows. Actually there is a couple of little palettes in here. Um, single shadows. This was a new one to me this year and it's from e.l.f. This is the one that got broken. Oops, I've just um, blinded you all. Um, oh, what's this called? Burnt Plum, I think. Um, I have got some colours very similar but that is such a pretty colour. And I'll just start on my arm. It's a really, really pretty like you know it's a burgundy plum metallic-y colour which, which is really really pretty this time of year uh, I'll do the others that are very similar this one is from MAC and it's called Sketch and it's a velvet finish that's a that's a like yeah did I say it was a matte colour it's actually a velvet, but um, it doesn't have any um, any shimmer in this one. So it is rather like more, more like a matte colour. Um, goes rather well. I mean, they, I think those two go really well together. Uh, another one from Mac. This one's called Tracks. This is picking it up. I mean, it's terrible. I've, I've picked a terrible time to do this video. It's caught five in the afternoon. So I don't know what you're going to pick up. But that looks like that. And it's a... An, another velvet finish. I mean, these are all very much um, of the same shade. I mean, I think there's a bit of a bit of a, a, a trend going on there. I mean, I love purple shades, uh, burgundy shades, and this one. I'm not sure if this is still for sale. I'm not actually sure if tracks and tracks and sketch are still on sale. I do know that. Uh, this one's called Semi Precious. Now I've had this for quite a while, so I don't know if this is still on sale. And it looks like that. It looks a little bit like a tartan pattern on there. It looks like that. Again, the same family of colour. That's that one. I think that one's m more similar to that one. Uh, now, two more um, from MAC. This one is Satin Taupe. This one you can still buy. Like that. It's a lovely 
like taupe colour, which all sort of you can all sort of um, you know wear the taupe um, over the lid um, with one of these on the outer corner in the crease if you wanted to wear it that way. Another one, this is this is away from these colours. It's totally different. This one, it's called Plumage. I think this one is still on sale as well. It's like um, oh, it's a blue green colour. I do hope this is picking it up. Terrible at describing colours. <laughs> can't do scents and I can't do colours. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty colour. Too much on there, really, but to show you. I mean, that is a quite a heavy swatch. I mean, you can use it and it can, you know, you can do it lighter than that when you put it on, obviously. Oh, staining my finger. Oh, if you see these um, wipes on for sale, don't buy them. They are dreadful. They're argan oil cleansing facial wipes with Moroccan argan oil extract. Um, doesn't clean, hardly ever cleans anything off your skin. Um, I'm scrubbing away at my finger trying to get this off here. Don't like them at all. The next one is MUA colour and it is shade 12 and it's a pearl and it's this multi coloured shadow. Um, you can see it as a grey, it has a grey colour to it, it has a blue colour to it. You blend it out and you can see brown. It's such a pretty, pretty colour. Um, Mac have one like this, and I can't can't think what it's called, um, which is uh, very similar. I think this is. I think Mac brought the, brought it out first, and I think everyone's copied it. There is one um, Wet and Wild um, have one in one of their eight pan palettes, same as that. Um, right, I'll leave the pigments until last. I'll do the two little palettes that sort of slipped in this. Uh, might as well do them while they're here. Sort of slipped into this video. This one is an outdoor girl palette. And it's Earthy Eyes number seven. You see that? And it's a green, khaki green, and like a pinky brownie colour and they both have sparkle you get a little bit of sparkle that's the green one you get a little bit of sparkle come onto your eyes but not very much just rub those there we go that's the pinky brown and that's the green they look really pretty Um, quite a few of these colours I have had them for some time, so I do apologise. This is a Clinique um, four pan palette. Um, can't work. It does say colours on the back, but there's there's only two colours, so I don't know. So this is what they look like. This is a beigey gold colour. Running out of space on my hand. It's a beigey gold colour. This is a nice sort of hmm. It's a lilac-y lilac -y pink shade. If you know what I mean, but also looks a little bit top. That one. Oh, I've got my fingers again. This one here is a lovely, lovely brown. You have. There is a little bit 
of sparkle in there but you get more of a shiny sheen mm. on when you put them on rather than um where is it oh that's that one and then this pink and i don't wear pinks very often but it is nice it is rather nice to put in the inner corner so that's the pink makes makes quite a nice um highlight just just a little you know if you put your ordinary um like um cream coloured highlight on and then just at the highest point put a little bit of this pink and it seems to sort of lift your eye a little bit but that's that one it's quite pretty now there's a pigment so what I'm doing for time um now I've got two stacking pigments from MAC they are called spicy smoke and chestnut roasted chestnut obviously that's the spicy smoke and that's your roasted chestnut. Now these are messy as pigments are and you get so much. I'm never going to use <laughs> all this pigment right onto the other end now. I'll say that's that's the spicy what was that one called? Oh I shall have a look in a minute. But that is that that is so pretty. That is really, really pretty. I'll tell you what, that one, I've forgotten what I said it was. Spicy smoke. And this, this next one is the roasted chestnut. I mean, I'm, st I'm still using it off the lid. I mean, I haven't even put my brush into, into the container. And that's the brown one. I mean they are I mean you do get rather a lot of fallout from both of these so you have to be really really careful um, oh my jaw cracked and as you're wearing it um, obviously it does fall a little bit so you do get some but then it's Christmas so what does it matter if you get a little bit of um, fallout onto your cheeks this one is called oh it's um, colour infallible um, colours um, and it's called Burning Black it's from L'Oreal over there L'Oreal and you get it's the ones with the oh one of those in and it's you've got your loose pigment in there and it's like a, more like a purple than anything else but it is very very dark come on focus the next one from the colour infallible is endless chocolate. And that's like that. And that's a chocolate colour. Um and we're back to Mac again. Um this is a loose pigment in old gold I don't know if this is for sale I do apologize but I mean there's loads and loads of colors very similar to this out um, what's that one I mean that's very similar to the one I showed you um, that's that one there the next one is called olive what did I say golden olive um a lot of oops I stuck on the top in there a lot of them you can find um pick them up on eBay sometimes um like if people have bought them um they've got fed up with them you know they, they sell them I mean I've sold some um, I had a load more um, I was very much into Mac um, quite a while ago um, and then I sort of went off it and I sold sorry that was that um, green one and I sold a lot of my stuff um, and now I wish I hadn't because I'm quite back into it again now 
so I'm having to um, try and build my stock back up. And then I've got a little one from Gosh, and it's called Paradise. And it's just like this silver, silvery green shade. It has a slight green, green shade to it. I think it does. But it's like a silver colour. And those are the colours that I tend to wear a lot of around this time of year. Um, I break, sort of break them out in sort of October, some of these colours. Some of them I have worn, I've worn some of them through, you know, through from, from um, like January to sort of the beginning of summer. Um, and some of them do get retired away for a little while. There was something else I wanted to show you. Last year I got these for a present from my husband from Sleek. And Sleek have brought these out again for sale. I think they're $9.99. The blusher is called Fenberry. And it looks like that. You get a mirror in there as well. It looks like that. And it's a very deep, matte, uh, burgundy shade. I mean, you go light with it. It's a very, very lovely colour. And then you got a cold pencil in Mossberry. You can use this as a base um, under your eyeshadows, and it's also great as a lip liner, which I've done today. What I tend to do, because both these products and the lipstick are very, very dry and they're very matte, I put um, a balm underneath. The lipstick is called Cranberry. If that can see that, and this is so so matte, but it's such a pretty colour. Like I said, it's what's on there today. So, there you go. So yeah, they are on sale again, and they're they're all in a nice little neat box, like that, and um, nice red decorated box, nice and festive for Christmas. So. If you want a little stocking filler or you fancy giving yourself a little treat, I'm sure it's $9.99. Um, there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. So look out for the next video, which will be um, my Christmas ones that the, my favourite Christmas palettes, let's put it that way. Um, so I'll see you again soon. Bye!